Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you guys ready for fall? I am so ready for fall. I've been um, just really feeling like the fall makeup and wearing like a little bit darker lip and a little bit different colors on my eyes for eyeshadow and um, I actually went shopping and I've noticed that this burgundy color is everywhere. I went to Zoomies, which is, um, I don't know if they have that everywhere, but it's um, one of the stores in the mall. It's more of like a younger, um, store and I went there because my kids need school clothes so that's kind of one of the main places that they shop at and I picked this shirt up there and it's just super cute and I have just fallen in love with this burgundy shade so it's really got me sort of feeling the fall and um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and show you my favorites. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to show you the eyeshadow combinations that I've been wearing and this one is one that I've had for a while and I just always go back to it because it's like the perfect eyeshadow. It's called Uninterrupted and it's the perfect fall shade. It's a brown but it's like a yellowy brown and I'm wearing this underneath my lower lash line today and a little bit on my lid and it is just the most different brown that I've ever seen. So that's what it looks like. It just really kind of um, brightens up your eyeshadow because it's like yellowish. It has a yellow tone to it. So it's just super pretty. Another eyeshadow combination that I've been loving um, is another like fall combination. And it's two colors that you would not even think go together. But I like to mix around or mix my eyeshadows together and kind of come up with different colors. So it's this one right here, which is Quarry. And then this one... Um, which is called Brown Script. Quarry is kind of like a purpley, taupey type shade, and Brown Script is like a really, um, like, orangey red brown. But when you mix them together, they just create a really pretty, like, fall shade. And then for the inner corner, I've been using nylon a lot, and this is actually a new one. I have one that I've been using, but it's in another palette. But um, those three shades I've been loving and um, I've just been loving playing with fall shades. I'm so ready, you guys. I know um, most of you probably are too, but I just miss wearing like my jeans and boots and scarves. And fall is like my favorite like season for fashion because you can just wear the cutest clothes. Okay, next moving on, um, I've been loving the Shade and Light palette, and I, I bought this, I used it for a while, I stopped using it, and then I went back to it. I think it's the perfect palette um, for highlighting and contour. So I did a video on how I highlight and contour with a sponge, and I'll post that down below, but basically I just use my makeup sponge, and I use this for my contouring and highlighting, and it's perfect. I think it's great because it's all together, and it's perfect for traveling, and you don't have to reach for a ton of different products. You just have everything right there. And I actually hit pan, which I'm sad because I love this shade. It's the yellow. I hit pan on it. Um, so it's it's well, well loved. Okay, next I am going to, oops. I have stuff everywhere here. So um next the blush that I've been loving, there's actually two, and this one is called Rosy Outlook. It's a Pro Longwear blush from MAC. It's just a really pretty pink. Um, I think it kind of goes with a lot of different makeup looks because it's not, it's not, it's kind of like a muted blush, but it does leave like a really like rosy look. Rosy Outlook is the look, or is the name of the blush, so it just it just is really, I can't describe it. It's kind of muted, but it goes with everything and it's just really pretty. Another one that I've been using is NARS Super Orgasm. I know you guys told me in my haul that I could pick up Orgasm and it would be the same, but without all of the glitters in it. So I might pick that one up too, um, but it's just still really pretty. And another thing that I've been using, this is really old and it's but it's from MAC. It's a beauty powder and it's called Shell Pearl. And I've just been using this. Um, it's kind of like a pinky highlight. It doesn't even show up that well, but it does show up a lot, a little bit just to give like a little bit of glow to your skin. So I just take a small blush brush and just kind of apply it on the apples of my cheeks and it just like kind of brightens it up. So it's that really pale pink shade. I think that these shades work really well for just brightening up your face. Okay, next for, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the liners, and this is like a liner that I used to really love. I stopped using it for a while because I've been using the Kat Von D um, tattoo liner, but 
It is the best eyeliner. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner in Black is Black. And I'm telling you guys, this is the creamiest gel liner. It is the darkest, most deepest black. And it actually stays better than any other gel liner that I've tried. So I've just, um, I had one and it kind of dried up so it just wasn't working the same on me. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick another one up. And it just... I fell in love with it again. It's such a great gel liner. So if you're in the market to try a new gel liner, this one is awesome. I usually use it um, just with one of these liner brushes. I also have a bent liner brush from Sedona Lace. I have no idea where it's at right now, but that one works really great too. And then um, I follow up with my Kat Von D tattoo liner, and this is amazing you guys so I just kind of use this to make my wing because with that brush you don't really get like a precise line so I just um, line my top lash line and then I go back in with the tattoo liner just to create my wing I didn't do that today um, because I have false lashes on and I don't want my eyes to be too crazy but this is worth the money so I love these that you can get from the drugstore but my biggest downfall with those is that they just never last very long. I feel like I use it for a couple weeks and then it's like dried out. But this has stayed like it's exactly the same as when I bought it. It's not dried out at all. And one thing I love about this is that the tip of the liner is not a felt tip. It's actually a brush with um I think it's like a maybe a plastic brush, but it's just different than the standard like felt tip liner. So you get all of the product where you put it instead of it staying in the um, felt tip, if that makes any sense. It makes complete sense to me, but this is just awesome. I don't even see an end in sight with this, so it's just amazing. You have to try this. And I also want to try the brown one and maybe pick up some of the other shades. This is awesome. I'm actually becoming a huge fan of Kat Von D products, which I never really was, but I love everything that I've tried from Kat Von D, so I really, really need to pick up some more makeup from her. I mean, she does, she has the best makeup, really, so I guess she, you can rely on her to make a good makeup product, so. Okay, next, um, Let's see here. This is another thing. I was using this and I'm like, you know what? I never really talk about this anymore, but this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. And seriously, this is one of those products that I cannot live without. Um, I just, your eyebrows are just not ever going to be the same without this product. Mine anyways. So I used to use like um, eyeshadows, but this is just so much better. Um, and I'm almost done with it. As you can see, I'm going to have to pick up a new one. But my eyebrows have seriously never looked as good as when I started using the um, Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe from Anastasia. I, I can't say enough good things about it. So I wanted to mention that because it's just one of those products that I can't live without. Okay, next um, for lip combinations. So what I've been wearing today, this is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter and Sugar Plum. I don't even know if they make these anymore, do they? I have no idea, but um, it is really pretty. It's really glossy and it's just kind of like a really nice um, plummy pink shade. I think it's perfect for fall without being like too bold. Um, and it leaves a really nice shine on your lips. And I paired that today with the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip 15C, which I didn't have this for a long time and I finally um, ordered some more. So I have these back in my collection, which I missed this so much. Um, but yeah, that's the combination I have today. Another combination that I really love is, of course, I talk about this lipstick all the time because it's just amazing. It's called Please Me from MAC and it's just the perfect pink for my skin tone. It is just absolutely perfect. And then I also pair that with the 15C and it's like a perfect match and match made in heaven. Love it. The other lip combination that I've been wearing is, um, this is more of like a fall, fall lip look and it's, um, max kind of sexy. And I'm just going to put it over this. It's like a really nice nude shade. Um, it's, it's not too crazy. Um, it's just a really nice, like natural nude shade. And then I pair that with, um, Boldly Bare from MAC and it's a very similar shade. It's actually, it looks exactly the same, but I like to pair a lip liner with all of my lipsticks. I'll put my lipstick on and then I'll just go around the edges and clean it up with the lip liner and it's perfect. 
Okay, and then a couple um, non-makeup things, and this one, this is the Caress Passionate Sp Spell. This is a phenomenal scent. I really love the Caress body washes, but this one by far is the best scent that I've ever smelled in any body wash, and I'm not even joking. It smells so, so good. Um, it's Passion Fruit and Fiery Orange Rose. It is it is awesome. You guys have got to try this. It is amazing. It's perfect. It kind of reminds you of fall, um, but it's just a really, really, really nice scented body wash. So you guys have to pick that up. Another thing I've been loving are these um, Febreze Unstoppable Sprays. These smell so good. This one is fresh, and this is how I got hooked on these because this fresh one smells awesome. It smells like clean laundry, but even better. It's amazing. I love it. I spray it on my clothes. I actually even keep one of these in my gym bag because I like for my towel when I go into the sauna to just smell like fresh laundry. And it's just so refreshing. It smells so good. And then the one I recently picked up is the Unstoppables in Shimmer. And this one's more of a lighter scent, but they both smell amazing. It's a really good refresher. Like I keep one in my gym bag that I keep in my car so I can kind of spray um, my car if it's I have boys so they're in sports and sometimes they just they smell bad so um, this works really great to freshen up their clothes or to spray it like in the back of my car where they put all of their sports equipment um, sometimes I just like to spray it in my closet and it just refreshes everything um, and makes everything smell really fresh. So I think that's it for all of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!